Generating AI art can be a roll of the dice, but with CG Dream, you can actually use a 3D base to take more control over your images. Now this is an incredibly powerful feature and it's unique to CG Dream, but in order to show you exactly how this works, we're gonna start right from the very start. And if at any stage you wanna check out CG Dream for yourself, there's a link in the description. They are the sponsor of this video. So in order to understand how this all works, we're gonna start with text to image. So I'm logged in and I'm gonna start straight away by using the text to image generator to show you how quick and easy it is. The prompt bar is sitting right at the bottom here. I'm gonna add in my prompt. I have a professional portrait of a lion dressed in a business suit looking sharp. And over here we have some options. I can choose the number of images I get. I'll go with three for now. And then we have our aspect ratio. I want something tall, so I'll go for two to three. The prompt guidance, we can change how much the prompt is relied on for the image. So basically high values can add a little bit more definition, make it more contrasting, or it could be more chaotic down this end. I'll keep it about 5.5 and I want the quality to be quality, but I'm gonna turn off auto enhance short prompts to see what we get just with the prompt we have. So all that setting is good to go. We come down here, there's a little generate button. I'm gonna click on that to generate our image. And we get these images which are sharp, they look real, very good result. But we can actually take this a bit step further. We can also come down to what's called the Dream Up feature, which looks like the logo for CG Dream. We're gonna click on that and we get an improved image with an improved prompt. As you can see, it's added a lot of detail to that prompt and improved the overall outcome of the image. It's a very visual version of a line in a business suit. It looks like the CEO and it's a little bit more interesting than these other ones we originally got. So that's a pretty cool little touch. But on top of that, we also have down here filters. If I click on that, there's a whole bunch of filters and styles that we can apply to our image. So we can scroll through and there's a lot of really good styles here to choose from. For example, if I add material glossy for something different, I can add more than one filter if I want to, but we'll just stick with that one for now and we'll hit generate. So now we've got a line that's a little bit more glossy. It looks more like a statue, but we're gonna come down here. We're gonna get rid of this filter and add in something different. I have here character historical. I can add that in to get more of a historical character feel. But let's also add in cityscapes to try and introduce a little bit of a cityscape into the background. But before we do that, I'm gonna bring cityscapes down a little bit. So we can adjust the strength of these filters. And we're gonna try again, this time using Dream Up once more. And then we get these images here. This one's nice and interesting, but it's really done a lot to, to maintain the integrity of the line. Uh, I love the way this one has that gold nail look to it in the background. It's really done a great job with the cityscape. But again, I can come in and adjust my historical characters, bring the cityscape down and resubmit that. And these are what we get. I really love the way it's brought the character to life and the contrast is added to this image. Now, if I want to, I can change any part of the image within painting, but what I want to do is actually upscale this the way it is to bring out its full resolution. So I click that, it'll upscale the image by two. Now our image has been upscaled. I can come up here to download it. And we get a nice high resolution file. This one is 1664 by 2432 pixels. And the detail, the cleanliness of it all, this is one of the best and cleanest images I think I've ever seen generated from an AI art platform. But now we're gonna move on and we're gonna try out image to image. The way that works, the bottom left-hand corner here, there's an upload button. So I can upload a 3D model or an image, but I'm gonna click upload to upload an image. I have this image, which I've downloaded from pexels.com for free. I'm gonna upload it and use it to work on an image. Now I can click here or I can drag my image into this section. It will upload and here is my image. Now I can change the resemblance, how closely it resembles the image or not. We're gonna leave it at this exact spot here and I'm going to add in a new prompt. I have a Kung Fu warrior with glowing eyes, fantasy elements and lightning. And as before, I can also go into my filters we have here Electrify. So if I want to really make sure I get that in there, I can choose Electrify, but I'm going to just bring it down a little bit. So we have Electrify and our original image. And this time I'm going to hit Generate. And we ended up with these three images. If I click, they resemble the original, original image and they have, do have a little bit of lightning coming out in a few areas, but it's not quite as fanatical as I'd like. So I'm going to come back down to Filters and add in a little bit more of the Electrify maybe bring the resemblance down a little bit. So that way we still get some resemblance, but we really crank up that Electrify. And also we might try and mix in another filter for a bit of fun. And I can also search up the top here for something like fantasy, hit enter, and filter these to find exactly what I'm after. I'm gonna go with dark magic 
And I'm going to bring the strength just a little bit lower, but so it's still reasonably strong. This time I'm going to use Dream Up. Now we have these images, which are looking a little closer to what we were after. I really like this one, so I'm going to upscale that as well. And again, we get a nice high quality image, which if you place side by side with the original, resembles the layout pretty quickly, but has added a little touch to make it a little bit more interesting. Now this is the exciting part, 3D to image. This is what sets CG Dream apart from all the other AI art platforms out there. I go up the top here to 3D models. There is a library of models you can choose from. You can also upload a model of your own and also even convert an image to a 3D model if that's what you want to do. But for example, I can take this image here, which looks a lot like Thanos. And there's a few different options here we can use to position it. I can just use my mouse and move this thing around, but I'll just zoom in on this toolbar. But I can use this field of view slider to zoom in or zoom out. So if I want this nice low angle, I can also go from orbit, which moves around like this, to walk, and then I can click and move this around up and down and reposition the camera. So now I've got this nice low angle of this particular figure. I can untoggle the ground, which if I do zoom out a little bit, you'll notice that there's a shadow that kind of gets taken away or added. But I'm going to zoom back in and I'm going to walk and it's sort of a little bit, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but you can get this here. So we've got this nice low angle of this Thanos 3D model. So I can position this any way I want. And what I can do is come down here and change this prompt. Once again, I have a low angle photograph of Thanos, the Marvel villain, duck cinematic lighting and a purple energy wave in the scene. So we're gonna generate and check this out. And it's maintained the angle, the look, and it really looks incredible. But don't forget, we can also add our filters, do a dream up version. So if I click dream up and we get a much more high contrast image. We come down, these ones I think look pretty good. These ones are a little bit sharper and higher contrast. Now, if we wanna take the next step, we can also go down to our filters one more time and look for something we think would really add to this, such as cosmic. I search for cinematic. We can add some dystopian apocalyptic in there and even sci-fi character. And I'm gonna come over here and adjust the strengths. So cosmic, we're gonna bring down a fair bit. Dystopian, we're gonna keep that up a little higher. Sci-fi character about the same. So this might modify the character himself, but I'm very interested to see, if I bring this resemblance up a little bit as well, be very interested to see what we can get with these filters using DreamUp. And I think it's done a great job of adding a little bit more dimension to the image. I like the glowing eyes in this one here. Well, let's not forget, I can come back down to here and click on that and bring up the model again. And if I want to change the angle, and get more of a, maybe more of a high angle, maybe make him look a little meaner from this angle. I've got the same prompt, the same settings. This time, because I've got the same prompt that DreamUp has actually created for me, I'm just gonna hit generate. But just also be aware, if you want to, you can turn on auto enhance here, which will use DreamUp for really short prompts that are three words or less. So you can actually set that automatically for really short prompts, but otherwise I'm gonna click generate. And we've been able to effectively change that angle and get some pretty awesome artwork. So we've got one angle to the other using that 3D model as a base. Now I do wanna experiment with another one quickly. I'm gonna come up top here to 3D models. I'm gonna choose this car. And this time I'm gonna go and create one image. I'm gonna go 16 to nine. And I'm going to just bring this around to here. Zoom right in that walk here like that. And I'm gonna add in a very basic prompt. This time I'm gonna say a shiny red sports car outside. I'm gonna add some filters. I have sports car here. I'm also gonna look for dystopia and go for dystopian apocalyptic. And I'm gonna crank both of these up to kind of influence the image using just my standard prompt. And I'm gonna follow that up with a dream up image also. Check out our first image using my basic prompt. You've got a dystopian background and a shiny red sports car, a little bit added to the hood here. And this one here again, another red sports car, dystopian world. So if I decide I want to remove dystopian apocalyptic and generate again, I now get a nice clean sports car, the same angle. So just by 
changing the filters, you can heavily influence how the image turns out. So it's easy to see just how simple and powerful this 3D to image feature is. The ability to frame things up and get exactly what you want is really powerful. But now we're gonna move on to an exciting thing, which is image to 3D, creating a 3D model you can use in this platform from an image you generate. So I'm gonna go into my images and I've just produced this image here. I used a prompt I found at the gallery and it's just a straight up 2D AI art generation, no 3D involved making this image. But I wanna take that pretty much that same image and try a different angle. I can actually convert this to 3D. I click on the image and there's a little icon down here. I can click to convert it to a 3D model. So I get this kind of 3D model here and if I click on it, I can position it the way I want to, even change the angle. So if I wanted to get that low angle again, something like this, and because I had that image clicked, I've got all the same settings prompt. I'm going to hit generate again. And then we get this new angle. So I can basically go in any time back into the 3D model, adjust the angle, and then we get this change of angle. So you notice we got a little bit of flexibility by using this model to move things around. Now, if I want to, I can click on this model and download a GLB file. So I do have the option to share that model if I want to. So now we're going to explore the platform a little bit because there's a bit more to it than what I've shown you. But basically when you first land, the first page you land on after you log in is this gallery here. So you can go through this gallery and even find images to use as examples. So this one here, if I click on it, you can see the prompt, it gets added to the bar. The second I click on it, all of the job settings get applied. So I can actually regenerate this right now if I want to, or if I want to do something like change the aspect ratio to 16 by nine, I can hit generate. And I've been able to generate an image off that prompt, but change a few things to suit myself. The other thing you can do is if you find images you like, like that one, I can favorite it right here by clicking this little heart symbol. If I find something else like this one here, I can favorite it up here as well. I can also share it with someone if I want to. So I've got a few options there. And because of that, I can come up to my favorites up here and I have the images I favorited. So this means if there's something you want to play with later, I can come back here and open up those job settings and keep them there as a reference, as well as simply having a reference of the images that I like to see. But there's also things like the Discord community where you can basically click on that, accept the invite to CG Dream. And there's a guide to CG Dream. There's also some general chat, artwork showcase, different areas you can go to be a part of the CG Dream community and learn a bit more about this platform here. But coming back, there's also challenges. If I click on this here, these are all entries to certain challenges. You can see here, there's 25 days left on this one. I go rules and prizes. So there's a 3D to image challenge here that you can enter if you decide you wanted to be a part of that as well. So there's all these different things you can do to really cut your teeth and learn CG Dream. And uh, also some things you can get involved with if you wanna have a bit of fun. And of course, if you ever wanna download your images, head to my images. And here are all the images I have generated we can scroll down at any point, look at them, download them, resize them, and take what we need from there, including the 3D model I created earlier in the video. So that is an incredibly powerful platform, very handy and easy to use. So if you wanna check out CG Dream, there is a link in the description below. I wanna thank CG Dream just for letting me know about this awesome platform, but also for sponsoring the video so we can get it out there to you guys to check it out. It is a lot of fun to play with and I recommend giving it a go. But that's the video for today, guys. I hope you found it uh, interesting. I highly recommend checking this out. A lot of fun. And if you liked the video, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.